What is up guys? Welcome back to Kubrick for another episode of building the False Emperor's Throne Room. If it is your first time here, just know that in this series I am building a location from the game Star Wars The Old Republic and the throne that I will be building belongs to one of the most powerful Sith Lords of that era, Darth Malgus. We are now at episode 3 and boy I have some very nice progress for you guys this week. The whole build is starting to take shape of what I was aiming for but there is still a lot of work ahead. After making the shape of the second segment in the previous episode and making the stairs to the throne platform, I could finally move on to the structure that will be holding the main part of the build. The problem is that when making the structure I actually almost ran out of bricks I need, so I had to make a few more orders which we will talk about briefly as well. But yeah, the build is getting bigger and better each day, so if you're excited to see what I made, smack that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on the future episodes of this series, as well as many other mock projects I have in stores for you guys in the future. Oh, and by the way, there will be a very important announcement at the end of the video, so if you're wondering what I'm planning, stay tuned till the end. But now, with all that being said, let's get started with today's episode. And this is what I was able to make this time. As you can see, the stair segment is nearing completion. Of course, there is still some parts missing here, but the main idea and the shape is done. Besides the stairs, we have the shape of the side walls that will determine the overall size of the whole platform, and it came out to be a very large structure as for my standards. The worst thing to do here was to make the shape of the walls so that the corners would look as smooth as possible and I think I managed that part pretty well. I tried making the corners with both cheese slopes and panels, but in the end I settled with using only panels placed sideways and meeting with tiles on the other side. The only part here that kinda bothers me is that I had to use the modified plates with rails, so I'm stuck with these little holes right here. But I figured I will cover them with the leftover light grey sticker from between these two elements of the 501st battle pack and I think that should look good enough. Other than that, the transition is looking smooth and we can barely see the connection points here. And the spring shooters were a great part to incorporate for the pattern in the upper part of the wall, coming all the way from the stairs to the outer side of the structure. Not only the pattern itself is similar to the game, but also I managed to make the size just right to fit the right quantity of them. Below I made the upper part of these pylons that are sticking out of the wall. Maybe not the perfect copy of the ones in the game, but I spent way too much time on trying to figure out how to make one to one copies and failed each time. And believe it or not, I made like a dozen of prototypes of it. But for now I am happy of how they look and they just need the lower part added but for that I will first have to make the slanted back walls below as I did in the first segment. The left side is not quite finished yet because like I said I ran out of parts, so I had to leave open spaces here, but because of that you can see how the individual elements are designed. The missing parts already arrived a few days ago, but more about those later in the video. Now looking on the inside, there is a lot of stuff happening here. Because of the shape I made using 4x6 wedge plates, I had to reinforce the whole structure of it so it would carry the weight of all the bricks and I managed to do this perfectly. So the sides are now very sturdy and won't even move a bit when I build here or move the mock around so I am very happy of how it turned out. Under the stairs you saw the concept last time, but this time it's more expanded on the idea of lighting them from below. I even connected the LED panels here, but I'm not quite happy with the results. The light isn't just spread evenly on each step, so I will have to figure out a different solution for this. Maybe I'll buy some sort of a small LED strip to stretch all along the stairs, we'll see. For now I'm trying to focus on the building techniques and not so much on the lighting details. All I know for sure is that all the other lights will be useful in the final segment lighting the throne and the statues. So yeah, this part is what I did since the last episode, but the best thing is when I connect both segments together. The stairs just look so good with the walkway connected. It really starts to show how huge will this thing be and that I will need a bigger table. 
when I will have all the sites completed and finished up the 6 pylons, it will really be something impressive. But before we get there, I need parts. A lot of parts. And since I got my orders a few days ago, let's jump into the hole and see what I got for finishing this section. I don't want to get into too much details here, so let's just briefly go through the parts I got. So starting with the most important ones to finish the stairs, I got a bunch of jumpers, both light and dark, and some tiles for them, as well as for finishing the walls. Also, a lot of bricks for the walls, some modified snot bricks, a couple of plates, and a few different parts to finish the pylons. For finishing the bottom part, I got a few more of those 4x6 wedge plates and more of those black fence pieces I used in the first section and some droid arms to connect them to the build. And finally I got some cheese slopes, clips, couple of these hexagonal flags I think I have a good idea for in the next segment and the parts that everything will be standing on that is these trans clear cylinders. So yeah, a lot of new plastic to play with but for that we will have to wait a bit longer than usual. And this is where I give the announcement I wanted to tell you. As we are already in February, there is something I just have to do. For the last 3 years since I came back to LEGO, I was participating in a community event called February, and this year just couldn't be different. If you don't know what February is, basically every year builders are making their own space rovers based on different space LEGO themes. So I'm taking a small break from this series to make another rover of my own. Last year it was Spyrus, before it was Blacktron, and this year I'm coming back to my favorite team which I started this little tradition with, the Ice Planet. And as I usually do before I start any build, I already have a team waiting for that. So the next video on my channel will be exactly that, an Ice Planet February build. I am very excited for that, but don't worry, the False Emperor will be coming soon after that with even more progress, so there is a lot to look forward to. But as for today, I think we're done here, so be sure to click on that like button, write down in the comment section how did you like today's episode, and I will see you again very soon. And until then, remember to stay safe and keep it bricking.